We don't need to take a look at it. The good news is that storm surge and sea level rise is a bipartisan issue on which there should not be any disagreement. Unfortunately, the current climate at the national level is starting to make it a bad word again. The very first debate we had a few weeks ago, half the candidates said that the science is out still on sea level rise and that they would hire a scientist to take a look at it. We don't need to take a look at it. We need to adapt and we need to invest. The adaptation includes changes to our zoning code. Like in Coconut Grove, I allow for a third story uh, through an uh, uh, ordinance amendment that I created at the waterfront homes that they can do a wash through floor now where the limit used to be 25 feet, they can do that third floor as long as that bottom floor is washed, can wash through with water and be uninhabited. That's, that's an adaptation strategy. Investment is the Miami Forever Bond. And back when it was okay for a conservative to talk about sea level rise, Tomas Regalado helped champion this with me. And it took me two years as a commissioner to get it on the ballot. Then Commissioner Suarez, who is now Mayor Suarez, voted against it, said it looked like a tax increase, but it wasn't. So I got a bipartisan group together to help campaign so that residents understood this wasn't a tax increase and it created, created $400 million for us, half of which is for storm surge and sea level rise. These are the types of things we can do. And the Army Corps is willing to bring $8 billion here to help us with this, but not with a great seawall. Just like Xavier said, we need a green-gray infrastructure hybrid.